Today I'll show you how you can embed a YouTube playlist on your WordPress website and we'll cover it step by step so you can get up and running quickly. So let's dive in. Since WordPress doesn't do this by default, we'll need to install a plugin and the plugin that we'll be using is called YouTube Feed Pro by Smash Balloon. I'll be using the premium version to show you all the features that are involved, but if you want to get started, there is a free version that you can try out. So you want to head over to Smash Balloon, find the YouTube feed. They also have several other feeds that you can install and integrate with your site. And once you purchase it, you can log in. From here, you want to go to downloads and download your plugin. You'll also want to copy your license key while you're here as well. Once you've downloaded everything, we'll head over to our WordPress dashboard. We'll go to plugins, add new, and we'll upload the plugin. Now, because I have it down here, I can left click, drag it up and install now. Activate the plugin. Once you see it's active, you can either come over to settings or if you ever need to come back to this over on the left under feeds for YouTube, we'll go here and we want to enter our license. So we'll add our license key that we copied and activate it. Great. Once it's active, we can come up here to configure and let's connect to YouTube. Notice that it does require read only access to your YouTube account, but it can't make any changes. So let's continue and choose the account that you're going to connect it with. Once it connects, it'll bring this back and you can see it on your YouTube account. The next thing you need to do is you need to create an API key. There are a couple of steps that you need to do, but this just allows them to pull in the playlist for you. So we can click on get my API key, opens it up in a new window. And here are the information that we need to do. I just want to go to the console.developers.google.com and we can name it and create it. From here, you're looking for APIs and services. You see it over here. We can click on this and we need to enable the service. The easiest way to find it is by searching for it and search for YouTube data API v3. And that's the one we want. Let's go ahead and enable this. And now we need to go to credentials and create credential. If you haven't done this yet, click API key. And this is the API key that it'll give you. So you want to copy this and close it. Now we can head back over to our dashboard so we can paste in that API key. And then scrolling down, you see the feed type that you want. You can do channel, playlist, favorite, search. Let's do playlist as the feed type. And you just need to find the playlist ID. Go to your YouTube channel and under playlist, click on it. And when you click on it, you come up to the URL or the web address location. And the playlist ID is this area after the equal sign. So we'll copy that. Enter the ID into the playlist ID and click Save Changes. Now we can customize the playlist to look however we want it to look on our site. So we can click on Customize. And from here, you can choose different layouts, whether you want a grid or a gallery. The gallery is nice because then the main video that's playing will be up at the top with others in the bottom. You can also do a list or carousel. For this, we'll just keep it with grid. You can also change the columns as well as mobile columns. For this one, I'm going to do mobile will be one columns on a desktop will be two and you can choose the number of videos and then the spacing between those from here you can also choose what all you want to show under there you want to do the username the number of views the date that it was published and all that you can add or remove any of that that you want to i'm pretty happy with all this so let's just save changes and now we need to add it to a page or a post so i'm going to actually go to all pages so pages all pages and i'm going to create a new one money and under the block, we want to click on the little plus icon and you can start typing in YouTube to search for feeds for YouTube. So I'll click on that and it'll go out and pull this in for us. Great. Now we can publish it and see it in action on our website. And if you're wanting to get better with video editing, watch this video next as we cover the best video editing software for YouTube. And I'll see you over there.